As of today, the rumor of the RMR capsules getting discontinued has been proven false by Valve, personally done by Valve on Twitter. Ocelot, who is the founder of G2, went on Reddit afterwards to make a statement about the situation and he said that it was an honest mistake and they just acted on rumors from the community. G2 said that they offered to cover the refunds for these items, I don't know if it's been accepted or not, but they made the suggestion, so they are trying to own up to their mistake. So whether you believe that or not, I think acting on community rumors and making like an official statement like that really doesn't make any sense and I don't understand how something like that went through, but either way, what should you do now? If you didn't buy RMR capsules off of this rumor, you have nothing to do. There's nothing to care about. All you need to know is that the capsules are still on the market and you may buy in the future, but as of right now, they are not getting discontinued. Now I do have to say, Godsend also came out with this post and they are getting no backlash right now, which is unfortunate because I feel like they played a bigger role in this than G2 even. Because when I saw Godsend come out with the info, I thought for sure it was a lock. Because now you have two teams doing it. You have two teams spreading this information, now there's actually confirmation. Now it's not just a mistake. So I'm surprised Godsend got out of this kind of free. Either way, I was able to put in my refund and I got a refund for most of my items. But not all. Valve made it an exception for these items. If you put them in storage units or if you put them on the Steam market, you can take it off and they will still refund you. As long as the capsule hasn't been opened, you are okay. Now I had trouble getting my refunds the first time around. I was very early to it and I decided to get my refund right away. And what happened is they denied my refunds. And what I did is I took the items out of my storage units and then I could get my refunds. Now I don't know if this is actually the case, Maybe it was because there was a ton of traffic at the time and they were having some issues, I don't know. All I'm saying is when I took it out of my storage unit, that's when it actually worked for me. But unfortunately, I did not get a full refund because before I put all of my capsules in, I decided to open one of them. Now the way Valve is doing their refunds, it's per transaction. So you buy 20 capsules at a time, that is one whole transaction. So I opened one capsule of those 20 capsules, now that transaction has been modified, so those other 19 capsules, you now can't refund. So if you're thinking maybe you'll open up a capsule before you refund it and just like maybe refund the other capsules, do not do it, you will not get your refund, and that is why I did not get a full refund on my capsules. Now we did get some important information about this though. We do know that Valve does not give any information to the teams about the capsules or the major items, anything like that. So if a team comes out with something like this again, you know 100% it's a fake. So we learned a little bit from this, and for most people they didn't get burned at all because they got their full refunds for their items. So overall I would say the risk is worth it, because if the capsules did get discontinued there'd be a massive rise, and if the capsules don't get discontinued, well we got all of our full refunds. So it worked out I'd say. Now refunds are only available for 48 hours. So if you bought capsules like a week ago, there is no refund for you. But with the recent information, if you bought the capsules, as long as you return within that 48 hour period, you can get your refund for the items. So I will be putting the link down below. It's a very easy system. It took me about an hour after I fixed my issues and I got my full refund for almost all of my items. I think another thing this might also say is that Valve truly does care about the economy. I've tried to make this point a few times, I don't know if it's an unpopular opinion or not because they have made those videos in the past, those press conferences almost, about the markets and how they want to run a market in a video game. So I think people know that they actually care about the community and they care about the markets of CS and of their different games. But I think this just adds more proof. You got the Howl situation, you got the Keys situation, and now you have the RMR situation where they know that people are buying up these capsules. And even if you instantly list them on the markets, even if you put them in a storage unit, which is something investors usually do, they are still giving you the full refund. And they could have just said, hey, you guys fell for it. You guys have to stick with these capsules now. Give us all your money. But they didn't. They gave a refund. So I think the benefits from this are knowing that teams don't get any insider info from capsules. And we got more proof that Valve actually cares about the markets, which is reassuring for the future. Best of luck with all of your refunds.